ครับjust received a question that was sent to her where the question was asked that if condoms are free um, to males, are made free to males, why can't sanitary towels also be made freely available um, to young women? Okay, let's listen into that we, press briefing. We just presented uh, resolutions on the Social Transformation Commission, which um, are not that differing from the discussions that we had in the policy conference in July in relation to social cohesion, nation building and the development of society. We had recommended the importance and the centrality of the branch of the African National Congress to be the effective um, agent of change and as leaders in, in, in the communities that they live to make sure that the African National Congress drives the radical social transformation agenda and to achieve social cohesion and nation building. We've also <coughs> uh, resolved that the, the ANC members must be very exemplary in their conduct, both in their families, in the community that they live, and in their organizations. Because if you are saying the African National Congress is the leader of society, it must do so by example, leading in example. We've also agreed that <coughs> The ANC branches must, must be in the lead in their communities, in all the programs of making sure that there's a dialogue in the communities, in the wards that they live, on issues of social ills, and making sure that they are in the forefront of social uh, cohesion and, and social building. So that's, 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 that's the gist of what we, we spoke about. But we've also talked about the fact that the African National Congress branches must make sure that they strengthen their relationship with the stakeholders, your churches, your interfaith organization, your sports, because that also talks to what we've always been talking about as what the ANC is supposed to be doing in the community. We've then said there must be social cohesion advocates that must be allocated across provinces to support the premiers, the mayors, in making sure that they are driving the moral regeneration and social cohesion activities. So we thought it's important that it's, that is important. Otherwise, we've also spoke around the issue of uh, violence against women. We are reiterating the fact that the street committees the village committees and the block committees are critical to pick up those issues that deal with the violence against women and children early and be able to deal with them. We are reiterating the fact that patriarchy is still a big problem in our societies and in our communities. And the ANC must do everything in its power to make sure that we actually, uh, women are being empowered to take positions and be able to deliver on those positions. And it's critical that if we don't do this, we will find ourselves reversing on the issue of gender equality. And we've then agreed that the incoming National Executive Committee uh, must make sure that the subcommittee on social, on social transformation must put up a program, a program that will make sure that there is implementation of these resolutions, both at branch level, at regional level, at provincial level, and at national level, and they must be monitored so that by the time we come to the next policy conference, we are able to see how much progress we have made and what is it that we couldn't do. 
Thank you very much. Can you take questions? Okay, thank you so much. It's uh, Calvin Whittles from the Mailing Guardian newspaper. Um, I, I would just like to find out uh, what is the ANC's plan for uh, the increasing number of young people that have fallen victim to drug abuse, specifically Kat Tuk um, and Yaupe. And then secondly, uh, did you have any discussion besides an ideological outlook on the nexus between uh, increasing drug abuse and increasing homelessness? among young people in South Africa, and what was your analysis of the effect of that homelessness on the society? Thank you. I just wanted to find out, as regards to social coercion, we seem to be losing a battle against uh, racism and uh, racial prejudice in the country. Any concrete issues that came out of your commission to deal with these? Um, with, with the schedules, especially of uh, this. And lastly, from my side, I know it has come up before, Did, was there anything mentioned around social cohesion, especially around the issue of uh, the national anthem, whether it should be changed or not? Thanks very much. Um, Cindy Siwatwala from ANN7. Um, also on the issue of uh, women and child abuse, um, has there been talks about how strict the ANC will be in terms of offending people within the party who actually do do these crimes? Has there been any measures put in place? Like we know, for example, Nduduzi Manana is also nominated in the NEC list. Exact. The NEC nominations are still going to take place, the voting, but has there been has there been any concrete plan on how long a person will be put on pause? How will this practically be addressed? Bizarre um, answers. <clears throat> I think my uh, my colleague from ANN Seven has actually stolen my question. Uh, the, the the only the only question will be: Has there been any firm resolution? around disgraced members of this party uh, regarding them holding positions of influence because if you're going to tell us that they need to be exemplary in their conduct and then they find or we see them in decision-making structures of the ANC then society is not going to believe you going forward. Thanks. Uh, hi, Taylor Nisolo here from Power FM. Um, in June or July, um, you, the Social Transformation Committee resolved to take it back to the branches, the issue of legalizing sex work. Has that been concluded now? Thank you. Hi, Peter van der Merwe from Jacaranda FM. I just quickly wanted to ask, adding on to the questions uh, from my colleagues on that side of the room, was there any discussion on actually you want to realize gender equality within the party and as uh, society at large? Okay. Maybe I'll start from the bottom and then I'll allow uh, Comrade Susan to come in on the other questions. On the issue of on, oh, on the issue of sex workers, yes, the, the commission did uh, take a, a resolution around that, that there must be decriminalization of the, the sex workers, and, um, and that is uh, be in line with what we have said as the ANC in the constitution of, this, of the country. On the question that has been asked about the disgraced members of the, of the ANC that now find themselves in the leadership contestations and how they behave, I think that question is a, is a bit unfair to us as social transformation. Remember that question must be addressed to the Organizational Renewal Commission because that's where how members should behave. Us here, we are dealing with social ills and therefore what needs to be done to the members of the ANC is not the prescript of this commission. It's the, it's, it's the prescript of how the organization itself says how the members must, must behave. So it's not this commission that must take that decision. And on the issue of the national anthem, 
yes, we, we have agreed and we discussed this issue. And actually, the commission was very specific into saying the members of the African National Congress must be able to distinguish between the national anthem of the country and Nkosi Sigelele Africa. And that the national anthem as part of the symbols of the country is what we should adhere to and make sure that all members of the ANC know and how and know how to behave when the national anthem is being sung. In relation to racism and racial prejudice, I don't know if uh, uh, members of the media remember, there was a proposal around uh, the policy conference to pass a, a bill or a law around this to make sure that at the end of the day you are able to track and deal with and that resolution has been confirmed by, by the, the social transformation. Now, the process that needs to follow, therefore, is parliament and, and legislature to make sure that that is in place. But us, as the African National Congress, we've passed that resolution. Thank you very much. On the issue of drug abuse, the ANC has come out strongly on the issue of drug abuse, but also endorsed the current review which will be happening in government when it comes to drug abuse, especially as it affects our young people as a country. And I think that's the issue which we thought it's important for all of us to recognize that there's a process already which is going on in government, but also the review as the ANC of what is in place when it comes to that. I think that was the last question which was not answered. Thank you very much to the members of the Social Transformation. Well done. Thank you.